Hi, welcome to Big Hat Homestead. Today I wanted to share with you, I picked up a digital rain gauge and it's wireless. I got it from the Reclaim store for five bucks. So I said I'd give it a try and I wanted to bring you along with me. I don't know if any of you have this, um, but it seems interesting. It measures in inches or millimeters. There's a rain alarm and it can transmit up to 100 feet. The first thing we need to do is put the batteries in. On the rain gauge, you do need a screwdriver that will be outside, but for the receiver, you don't. Triple A for the receiver and double A for the rain gauge. Okay, the batteries are in. The next step is to remove the tape before use, and this just protects the parts. Inside, you can see a little seesaw level. That's how the rain is measured. And this is the top. Once we take this tape off, you'll see that there are holes that will allow the rain to drip through. Next, I'm going to just pop that top back on there. There are three buttons on the front. The first is the reset button. You reset the inches or you can reset it to factory. Then there's a light in case it's dark. And last, that you can change it from inches to millimeter. And here are the warnings that came with this device. This stays inside, places on a level surface. And if you want, you can have the alarm come on um, and that way when it rains it will let you know that it's collecting the water. This also shows the battery level of the inside and outside unit and how much rain has been collected. I also bought a temperature gauge from the Reclaim store for $4. It is also a digital wireless device as well. I reset the device and now it's time to take this outside. Now it's in place, let's wait for the rain. It's been raining about 10 minutes, and this is how much rain has been collected. Once it stops raining, we'll come back and check it out. So it is working. That was a short, heavy rain, and it collected almost an inch. This is a useful tool, and I'm glad I picked it up. I do think it is a good idea to keep your manual collection device. That way you can compare the digital and see if they match up. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did and would like to see more, go ahead and like and subscribe. Is this something that you would use? Till the next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.